did that? Who, who made that uh, music? Skank. Cool. Pinky Skank. Cool, hey everybody, it's a program, we're on TV. Once a day, every day, we turn on the machines and we start talking for an hour. That's right. I'm sure that some people may be confused given uh, yesterday's program. Wow. Saying that I would not be on today, but we had a little bit of a scheduling program pro problem, so I'm here now. Nobody remembers. Right. Nobody. Well, hopefully they remember some of my big news, but I don't know. We no, they don't. Nobody remembers anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Every day is a new day. It's fresh, and there's nothing. There's no history about it or anything. You think people are remembering day to day the episodes? Well, well maybe they are. They're um, not, and most people probably aren't watching every day. Okay, well that's good. I never watch. So who's watching? Oh, I don't know. Who do we, who's this? Who's this for anyway? It's it's for you. Do it's, it, it's for do us to run our faces. For you, because. You know, it's I'm, for us to I'm run, run sure our faces. Carl, why are, you, are we doing this, Carl? Yeah, well, you got to do it for you because I don't know that anyone really watches the program. I'm not doing it for me. Why? Uh, why, Carl? Oh, why? Uh, well, I, I'm doing this for me. I, I come on the program. For me. Wow, that's a cool. I come on the program because I like to be on the program. I like to why? set up blades why? over why? here. I socialize, try to get myself uh, some sort of <sighs> habitual entertainment. Good. Well, Luke, you're here. Yeah, yes. it, it happens. I like this set of blades over here because it's got a ring midway down the blade uh, length. The fan? Yeah. yeah. What does that do? That's pretty cool. I don't know what the ring does. I think it's I don't know why it's there. The, the blades, maybe. There's not always a ring there? No, I got, I got, I've never seen uh, blades that size that have a ring. You have no. Do you have a fan like I've that? I've never seen a. I've never seen any any blades that have a ring. Nope, nope, nope. I got fans. I got fans at home. That big? I got one at one at that big. Yeah. No rings, huh? No. Uh, do I they ever ask you for your autograph? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Carl needs to learn. About, Carl thinks homonyms are funny, so Carl. They get all starstruck when I when I like funny. lubricate them and stuff. <laughs> I lubricate my fans, uh -huh. and they get all starstruck and want my autograph while I'm doing that. Uh, yeah. Boo. Luke, when was the last time you were here? <laughs> I don't know. Probably you know, I never know the answer to that question. Think month, hard. Month, month and a half. Think hard. Month and a half. Were you here? Have you ever Five been weeks. here before in, in the new attic studio? Seven no. So, uh, last no. Time? I mean, wow. not not for an episode of the show, but for other reasons. Yeah. Last time you were. On the show, we are in the garage and... Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's been or, no, yeah, maybe just... not. Maybe I was at oh, TCTV at the art, or... At TCTV at the art studio. Could be, yeah. I think you were at the art show last time we were on. That could be. In the basement. Yeah, so that... Anyway, yeah. that was like a good month, though. When was the basement? Yeah, I don't September? know. I think it's been a month... Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get the video card back from that episode. Oi! Where'd it go? It went over to Germany with uh, with Johanna. Germany, Germany. Yeah, she went over to Berlin for some sort of uh, art artist uh, residency thing of a gig. Uh, wow! Wow! Yeah, so my card went over there with her, and she said she's gonna mail it back to me. Whatever. Yeah. Germany, yeah. Germany. Yeah, let's see if you get it back all the way from Germany. I, I Germany. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, you can make it a souvenir. You can, like, frame it and put it on the wall and say, this has been to Germany. <laughs> it's been to Germany. If I have it. It's probably made in China. It, have you it been went to over to Germany. Germany. Nah. That, that uh, SD card's more well-traveled than me. Have if you ever hopped over the pond? Nope. Got to Germany. Sweet. Uh, only, only other nations I've been to is Mexico and Canada. Yeah. So that's the way it is. You, you see anything uh, on on the streets there, Luke? Since you the know, last I, month? I don't know. I probably have. Just don't remember any of it. But like today, for example, I did not even go out of my apartment. No. 
but uh, I saw a slug on the kitchen floor. Why, got, did that? Why didn't you go out? I was busy uh, writing my book. Sweet. Oh, writing a book, huh? So I took the slug out of the kitchen floor and put it out on the front porch area. You're writing a book? Yeah, I'm writing a book. Can we hear about that? What else? It's just some book that I've been thinking about writing for a long time. Is it a fic- is it fiction? No, no, no. Non-fiction? No. It's like a diary. Yeah. A diary book. Like a memoir? Yeah, it's like a memoir. I'm getting old, you see, so I got to, you know, record my life before I go. Yeah. You're writing a memoir. How, how long is it going to be? Oh, I don't know. I figure two or three hundred pages only. Wow, book though? That's crazy. You're not the only one getting old. I'm going to be 39 on the 25th. Yeah. Everybody's getting old all the time. You're going to write a book, Carl? Carl? I'm going to miss you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead. You're going to miss my 38 self, and you're going to be introduced you better, to the 39 Carl, start self. writing your book. <laughs> yeah, Carl, where's yeah. your book? Let's Before go. Before you die. <laughs> oh, man. Get your diary on, man. Your memoirs. Are you going to... Uh, Published? <laughs> I don't know. I might I might go as far as like put it on Google Drive and just let people look at it as they will. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. A book. Um. So how did you saw a slug indoors, huh? Yeah. It wasn't a big one though. It was kind of small. It looked like a leaf, sort of. Look at uh, them small kind of leaves. Yeah. Like, what's this leaf doing here? Yeah. I just said, no, wait a minute. That's not a leaf. That's too puffy and fat for a leaf. So I. I said, oh my goodness, why is a slug in our kitchen? This is ridiculous. Those Get out of my kitchen, yeah. slug. Ki- slugs are outside things. Yeah. It's a, it was a total category violation to find that slug in there. So, uh, what? that's my excitement for the day is that slug, moving that slug out of there. You, did you just pick it up and, or what? Use a cup? No, I used like two, two pieces of uh, card paper. <laughs> <coughs> Kind of use one piece to push the slug over onto the other piece of card paper. And you just let it go outside? Yeah. No salt? You don't want to melt it. I guess you don't want to melt it under your kitchen floor. That's gross. Yuck. That seems kind of cruel. I don't, I don't want to, I'm not into cruelty that You ever much. did that when you were a kid or anything? Nah. Salted some slugs? I salted some slugs in my day. Slug melting. It's gross. Uh, Ooh, I'm melting. I'm melting. Did you leave your door open or? No, nah, we don't do that much. You know, my apartment mate, although she's got like this aversion to cats walking in. And like, that happens? She's like, yeah, I guess that happens in, in uh, Cooper's Glen where I live. The cats wander around and they go in. Uh, sometimes I walk out the door and there's a cat or two like trying to make a bolt for the door to come inside our apartment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? bolt like, like you had to stop them? Like, oh, I got to close this yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, it's like... Why are they trying to run inside your apartment so much? It's like it's cold outside or something. Oh. So, them cats. Baby, it's cold outside. They don't have uh, any sense of where they're supposed to be, huh? So, then, so you then you stop the cats, but sometimes you get in or. Yeah, I'm, I usually always stop the cats in time. Never accidentally run in and you had to go get them. Yeah, there's sometimes when I've let them in on purpose, though. Then I had to go get them. <laughs> You're not supposed to be doing that. Eh, I guess not. That was before my current apartment. Oh, okay. So, uh, so it was okay then. Yeah. How'd the slug get in then? They just crawl under the door, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Little baby. <laughs> it's probably lived underneath the apartment and came up through through, through some uh, little crack. I've never seen a slug indoors before. From under the apartment and into the apartment. Have you ever seen a slug indoors, Carl? She's eating a cheese, Carl's doing cheese all. You eat an entire block of cheese in the whole time. That cheese has like about five minutes to live. Were you scared? Were you like, oh, something's wrong? What you mean, uh, about, about the slug? Yeah. Did you ever, did you, I mean, no. a little bit, you're just like, no, you never, you didn't think it was going to be a continuing problem or anything? No. Like that didn't occur to me, but now you're making me scared. You, now you got me thinking, I got there's a... There's one slug, maybe there's going to be more. I oh. got a family up in there. We're getting a phone call. Oh, cool. It's, a uh, oh, <coughs> it's Bird. Okay, Bird. Bird's trying to sell his car. Bird, hold on. Hold on, Bird. Hey, hey, Bird. What? What? Hi, Bird. Oh. Uh, Hi. Hello. 
Hello. Hi. We're on TV. Uh, I, Hi. Hey. As usual, our day every day. Turn on the stage and talk for an hour. All right. We're playing the dice game. It's the first dice game. We're finding a pen. You called us <laughs> while we're on TV. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Give, give me a ten. A ten. Yeah. You know. You know how it works. All right. Uh, give me a one. We're writing numbers on our hands between one and six. Bird's on the phone, so we just want to say it. What's up, Bird? How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm having a good day. Really good day. How are you doing? Well, real good. Thank you. Um, good. Good. I, I have a song. I have a song to sing. It's the Kenny song. Uh-oh. No, it's a good song. Uh, well, I guess we'll, uh -huh. we'll be the judge of that. Kenny, 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 That's just a little bit of it. I don't really feel like singing it right now. It's just not. It sounds just like. That's kind of how it goes. It's just a lot of Kenny. That's a cover. So it's like. Hey, Bird, do one. Do one. Bird, one. Your song is a cover. Uh, Sean, Sean Downey already already sung that. He did. Yeah. I saw the that. episode. <laughs> you saw the episode where Sean well, Donaldson. It's used... a good game. It's been good playing with y'all. What game? Oh, the dice game. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's bird in the lead here. Have you ever played? Have you ever played Farkle? What's that? Yeah, you use five dice and you roll for ones and fives. No. Hey, bird, you and... want? You want to if get on you, the ones are worth 100 and fives are worth 50. No. You want to and get if you get three twos, it's like 200 points. If you get three ones, it's 1,000 points. I don't know about three that. Three sixes, 600. Three fives, 500. Carl, you know about that? Carl likes games. Carl, we got a cheese and dew. Mountain Dew. Cheese and one hand, Mountain Dew, another hand. Nice. I I don't know how to say this verbally, but when I I sometimes I text like random people and they're like annoying a little bit, and and so I I send them a whole bunch of H's all at once like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's how we is that That's is that like that throat is. singing? Uh, 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 so Kitty wants to know whether you ever do that. Come on the program. <laughs> Say again. You want to get on the schedule? Get you on the schedule? Oh yeah, I want to be on there every day. I just can't. I don't. I don't have what it takes. Be, be more specific. Um, be more specific. What day? Okay. How about, um, well, what, uh, you know, I guess for me, uh, the best would be Sunday. Sunday at 8 or 9? Sure. PM. All right. Sure. 9 a.m. Putting you on, bud. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, thanks. That's great. It's, uh, um, it's, yeah, I saw something on the streets. With, it involved police uh -huh. and a possible domestic violence situation. Oh, no. But it was, you know, maybe I can just relate it to you without too many details in order to protect the innocent. But, uh, okay. you know, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Anyway, quite, quite the times we're living in here. What happened? Well, yeah. What's the story? I just just saw an emergency vehicle driving by. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm on a walk right now with someone. I gotta go. What, what about you just you just told us a story that what's a domestic violence story? Um, I was walking and it was at night and there was a trailer parked on the side of the road and I heard this like knocking and yelling coming from inside the trailer. And like 30 seconds earlier, two police cars had sped by and I was just walking by at the time. And then I saw two neighbors, like people from the neighborhood walk up and stand at the end of the block and just look 
And then when I was coming back like five minutes later, the police had the whole family out on the sidewalk and were interrogating the the male. Oh no. Um, yeah, and there were like three kids out there and I was on the other side of the street and as I walked by, one of the kids like saw me and looked at me and like, you know, was totally like, just started staring at me and I was just, I was like, whoa, you know, what's it like to be that kid right now and what are they thinking and pretty intense stuff. Have you stopped, Bird? All right, we'll see you on Sunday. Thank you. Bye. Yes, yeah, bye. Thanks, Bird. There he goes. What a mess. I'm looking at the schedule today. And today we're talking about, uh, you know, conveniently here, creepy crawlies. <laughs> which I think. Slugs. Yeah, slugs, right? Yeah. Are they? I it's, think so. It's, uh. Creepy. I don't know if it crawls. I think it, I think they're both. <coughs> yeah. Like I think. kind of slide around. That's crawling. Yeah. There's a uh, a movie about slugs, like a horror movie. So I think any those bugs that have horror movies named after them, those are creepy crawlies for sure. Yeah. Giant slugs. Spiders and slugs and. Yeah. Well, today is a is an interesting day. As far as domestic violence issues are concerned, in my own life, too. Oh, no, what? Because uh, I have this, I had this cousin. She was uh, shot dead by her husband, apparently, and her husband was finally convicted of that murder today. Oh, no. Yeah. Did you know your cousin well? No, I had never actually met her in person, but I encountered her on Facebook when she first got on. Had a couple of chit chats about her wedding gown. I like. I was pretty impressed with her wedding gown when she got married to that guy that eventually killed her. Yeah. But uh, no, not much interaction since then. But I, I still, even though I never had any contact with her, I still feel like. I can't believe she's gone and stuff. I was like, that's amazing. It's just horrible. Taken out of the world by human hands. Yeah. Well, I guess that happens with anyone that you're really close to, no matter if it's a family member or not. Um, you're more likely to be killed by the people in your general vicinity than by strangers. Yeah, that's people probably true. You know. Wow. Well, uh, it's, it's gun violence, so look out for that stuff. You know, if you're feeling mad and, like, you have a problem, tell somebody about it. Don't just not do anything about it. There's a creepy crawly, a flying creepy crawly. Anyway. There's flying, I think flies are creepy crawlies even though they're flying. Um, tell somebody about it because you don't need to wait until you get That's right, Kenny. I'm, I'm glad you... I'm glad you... You, uh... You speak out and tell everybody about your problem with flies so that you don't keep a pent in and kill somebody. Yeah. Right on. Uh, yeah, well. I'm here to support you on your fly issue, man. Yeah, the flies are creepy crawlies. Um, I think we've been talking about some like spiders and stuff just like from Scary Month in general. We've been doing Scary Month all month and we're getting down to the last, you know, couple of days here. Only a week, on the weekend a day of, creep, of Scary Month. And it's really wearing so far, and we're at the end of it now. We're saying these things like creepy crawlies, but we've already been talking about creepy crawlies. We've kind of been already talking about scary stuff all month, and so each individual day has already been kind of talked about in the last month, like more and more as we go on. A few of these things, and we still actually we should probably decide on the final scary thing. Uh, for the final day of Scary Month. Do you have any, uh, any fi- final, oh, hey, we'll, maybe after info time we'll think of figure it out. Five, four, three. I'm not reciting this. It's right. No, it's info time. That's why I'm here. Here are our answers to some weekly asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with Me. It's called the talk show that's filmed right here in Jersey County every day of the year. And there's every night, 11 p.m. on Channel 22. Each episode airs one 
The fish? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no you're too young. Yeah. No, there's no, what's a bat? A bat is a fish, a base. Yeah, yeah base. Base, base. I'm sorry, base. Base. Bass is a fish only. <gasps> what? Are you okay? No. Are you getting a hemorrhage? Am I giving you a stroke for accident? I'm saying bass no, no, I'm saying bass. Yeah, by, by, by tongue's not working quite well, so I mispronounce sometimes. Base bass. Anyway, you wanted to aim, uh, label the last day of the month for uh, scary month. Yeah, what do you think, Luke? What's scary to you? Scary to me. Yeah, what is scary? Where's that pen? I don't. Oh, I I like to you. You did, but to I don't know toilet to monsters, I guess, are scary. Toilet monsters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> toilet monsters. Toilet monsters. Oh, we man. already did monster day, but what? What's a toilet monster anyway? Yeah, for sure. Well, it's just the monster that comes out of the toilet when you're trying to take a shit. Like, uh, what? That like, never happened. Is this, is this a urban legend or? Oh no, it's true, Carl. You'll know about the toilet. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, but what's the? Uh, the alligators don't really live in the sewer. I heard that alligators did live in the sewer. Maybe. Whatever. Somewhere. I heard that like on one of those. Like, so is it real or it's not? an alligator is too big to get to the toilet. You can't worry about that. What's this toilet monster story? Uh, about? It's just something I envision. I, my um, my, <coughs> my active imagination came eat, up bro. with this. Just you just ate a whole block of cheese and, <laughs> and you drink a whole 20... Carl, calm down. And, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> Carl's right. freaking out a little bit. Nah. Yeah. Uh, calm down. So is that your final answer? What yeah, because like monster? somebody asked me what I was afraid of, so. What, what is a toilet monster? Oh, gosh. What do you think is coming out? What? Carl, you don't want to talk about it? You want to hear? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll wait. Uh, 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 I guess. Uh, help, help. help. I'm about being oppressed. <laughs> but, like, I don't need to talk about toilet monsters today. I'll work myself up to that point. I won't talk, we're going to talk about it right now. Uh, what do you think <laughs> a toilet monster is, Carl? Uh, the rats. Rats? Rats. Yeah, rats. Coming out of the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that rats actually do come out of the toilet. I, and and uh, it formerly is like, Scary. is it true story is kind of thing. So yeah, I think those rats can come out of the toilet. But uh, what what's, what do you think a toilet monster is, Luke? You, you did you Is that something you've thought about before or are you making it up right now? Oh, yeah. It's something I thought about before. But, you know, I didn't put like uh, a concrete image on what shape or color or yeah. Size the damn thing is. It's, it's like just like some kind of thing coming out of the toilet. It's going to grab you. Yeah. Well, that's good because uh, concrete um, would sink to the bottom. No, concrete. Right? No concrete. Bad, Carl. Bad. You're going to go to hell. <laughs> Get down I'm off the pun. You're going to hell. It's called planet Earth, I think. I don't know. You're going to go to real, Sorry. like, messed up bad hell. <laughs> real if you keep doing, <laughs> If you keep doing these <laughs> homonym jokes. Uh... Anyway, what's the? Uh, so you don't think you so don't know? We're talking about that damn toilet monster on the final day of the month here. Could be anything. Yeah. Well, we already said Monsters Day, so we got to do another thing. You didn't say toilet monster though. Yeah, but that's that's. I think Close we, we we gotta. It's gotta be d other than yeah. Monster toilet monsters is part of monsters. If we would have talked to you on toilet once on Monsters Day, maybe you would have yeah, brought about, up. What so. about uh, Uzi Uzimake? What's that? That's, what, that's the. Uh, that's the phenomenon of. But being killed by being twisted in some way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> this is a, I think there's a Japanese movie called Uzumake. <laughs> yeah, probably. In which this occurs. Yeah. People Sounds are getting killed by being twisted in some twisted way. I would say try to get more general with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems far eastern, that word. 
<laughs> Board general. Japanese. Yeah, Japanese. <laughs> he said Japanese. Far, oh, it's Far Eastern in general. Uh, Come on, Carl. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Where are we going? I don't know. I will figure That's it out. We still have some more time. Name, Carl. Shut up. Is it? Come on. Like, where are we going? Oh, jeez, Carl. <laughs> hey, what is are that okay? over there? Are you okay? Carl, Carl's going to some is that, weird... Is, is that piece of art over there, is that like a Rachel Carlson production or... Uh, uh, yeah, look at that. The um, that styrofoam it is. meal tray it is. with the photograph in it. That's a picture of my floor. Yeah, it looks like a Rachel Carlson kind of thing. She, that, she took a picture of the floor. Yeah. Thank you, Rachel. And then put it... Uh, all right, all right. Put it back in the room where it almost the picture looks like it's like something I've seen on display. At, at yeah, that was on display at the thing. Yeah, all right, the thing. Cool. Uh, she took a picture of my floor uh -huh. and then grabbed some garbage off my floor and then put it in the garbage and then she put it back on the wall. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so uh, your your floor garbage gets around, yeah. It's back, it's gone for a circle. Cool. I, I Hi, can you hear the data? Hi, hi, Dan. He's coming back. Bye. Bye. Here we go. It's calling back. It's a little bit late. I don't know if he's going to answer or find D out right now. D is it oh It's always too late for him, isn't it? Uh, Does he ever answer? Yeah. He has been answering, uh, but we call him right at 10 o'clock, maybe 9.30. But, you know, when it gets to be 10.30, it might be. Yeah, it's 10.32, actually. Might be a little bit iffy, but hey, that's part you of it. life, I guess. The mailbox belonging to Dan Dobler is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. If you'd like to leave a call back number, press 5. Belonging to Dan, Dan Dobler is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. If you'd like to call back number, press 5. Or please try again later. later. Goodbye. I wonder if he's made any. Movies with his camera and stuff. The mailbox belonging to Dan Dobler is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. To leave a number, callback number, press 5. Or. What is it? Ah, I don't care. Dude, please try again later. Please try again later, yeah. Um, he did make Agent Dan, and then there was some other. Maybe. Movie. No, I meant. Uh, afterwards. Dan got his own personal video camera. Oh, he did. For a gift. And I was wondering if he he made any more movies with that camera of his. Well, I guess we could ask this next person, uh, Freddy. He might know. Yeah. I I just saw Freddy's van a while ago. He's he was here at the studio getting some tapes for the production end. You've reached Freddie Dobler. I'm not here. Say it. Hey, you've reached oh, Freddie Dobler. Dobler. I can't come oh, to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddie, it's the program. Yeah. You got about half an hour to call us back. Maybe about 31 minutes. Give it a try. It's uh, Creepy Crawlies Day. Yeah. You might succeed. Have a nice time interval of arbitrary length. You know, uh, both <laughs> Elias and Mr. Gintsu both have a lot of creepy crawlies in their lives, but uh, neither of them called, but I'm going to call Mr. Gintsu. Creepy crawlies. Mr. Gintsu creepy and creepy crawlies. He's the king of the ants. Uh-oh. Automatic voice message system. Three. No. <laughs> Use that special FBI equipment to decipher what the hell that phone number was that was recited. Mr. Gensu, it's the program. No, that's impossible. Uh, I want to talk about the ants. And Luke's here, so maybe you could inform Luke about the ants as well. What's the, how are the ants doing? It's Creepy Crawlies Day. You can just call back. You have about 30 minutes. One minute, 30 minutes. 30. Do you hear about the ants? I don't think the ants. Oh, ants. No, uh, somebody posted on Facebook that they were having ant problems. That wasn't me. Well, it's not to be a problem. 
if it's like Mr. Ginsu, he does lives with them and calls them his friends. Yeah. And then he's king of the ants. I mean, what are the ants going to do that are so bad anyway? This, this person said something to the effect of better ants in my hand than in my pants or something like that. Well, not better ants in your in your house, though, because they're going to get in your pants and in your bed and in your teeth. Teeth. <laughs> one, one, four. Anybody getting big out four? Nah. Oh, Carl's got a four. You got 500 points, Carl, but it's not enough to beat uh, Bird with his ones there. Bird's beating you with 1,000 points. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get up and reposition the camera. Uh, just because. You mean there's no reason just because? You don't have any reason? You thought it was in a bad angle maybe, or Carl, right? I think that's probably why you want to move it. I don't think you're doing it for no reason at all. He made all. a judgment. He said angle was bad. That's why. Bad angle. Get down off the couch. Angle. All right. Carl's kicking stuff. Make some noise, Carl. Make it. You know, you never had any uh, problems with creepy crawlies in your home, Carl? Uh, no. No, I, I certainly haven't had uh, um, a can of soda or whatever you want to call it, pop or uh, carbonated water, you know, with sugar in it. Soda. Um, pop, to, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. At my place, like Mr. Gintsu, or I guess Elias both had, and when they went to drink it, you know, they had... Um, they drank a mouthful of ants. Which is, yeah. You ever, no. you ever left a, a soda or beverage out, and then it collected ants, and then you took a drink of it, and you drank a mouthful of ants? Well, I, I, I leave the uh, soda open. Um, I, well... Out of out of the refrigerator for sure, but you know, um, after like 15 minutes or 30 minutes, I put the cap back on. I, I like bottles more than I do cans because cans you can't really put a lid back on. Did you? If you want to take a sip. Did you drink through your birthday soda? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I uh, guzzled that, you know, with uh, within you know half an hour. To here? Uh, uh, at my place. Uh, I. What about that cheese? Yeah, uh, th that has to be uh, put into, um, you know, pasta or um, mashed potatoes that I'm making. Birthday cheese. Uh, I thought you didn't just eat it all the way, just like, uh, just, uh, you didn't do that with it? Well, I guess I could have, but and I have done stuff like that before, but. Um, no, I basically leave the Parmesan cheese basically for cooked stuff because that's kind of... That's how it, what it's for, I think. Yeah. Uh, you never had... Have you done that drink thing? Accidentally drinking bugs before, Luke? Yeah. No? No drinking bugs accidentally? I think, to me, the worst creepy crawlies are mosquitoes. They count, maybe. But that, I guess they're not really creepy crawlies. There's some bugs, I guess they're, they're just like weird bugs. You know when you encounter a bug that's not just like an ant or a spider? It's like some weird... Yeah, it's like uh, the the silverfish in my bathroom. What's that? Fish. Yeah. Yeah, silverfish have a way of moving that are kind of, you know, we're genetically programmed to find it creepy, I think. The way they move. What are they? What is that? I never heard of that silverfish. Silverfish. They look like uh, teardrops shaped bodies, teardrop shaped um, millipedes or something. They have like lots of legs. Yeah, I think they got lots of legs. And, uh, they uh, kind of dart around. And uh, are they quicker than uh, uh, earwigs? Mm, I, I think a little bit quicker than earwigs. Earwigs yeah. are scary too. Yeah. I think it's just the name, though. Well, I think that's why they're scary. <laughs> that's well, a scary also name. Has a funky uh, pincher at, at the end of their body. You know, it's kind of like uh, some sort of maybe 
scorpion or Yeah, or what's with that pincher? But I, don't know. I think the reason the pincher is scary because it's going to pinch your inside of your ears. That's what you, it's like, it, the, the name of it makes it seem like they're always trying to get into your ears. That's like their goal in life. Uh, but really, well, nothing wants to go in your ears. What are they going to do when they're in there? Well, the, yeah, Star Trek, uh, the Wrath of Khan had a creepy incident, you know, about insects going into uh, uh, people's ears. Kind of gave me nightmares for like maybe two or three years at least, or, you know, it's still kind of hard to watch that specific scene uh, putting bugs in your ears you're, yeah you're, you're just like come on I mean I'm, I'm sure maybe everybody in, in some capa- capacity is like man get out of my ear I don't want you in my ear I would say most people probably don't want bugs in their ears yeah for sure is that, yeah that's what I think of earwigs when I see them and, I, and then yeah like ooh you cover your ears you see those things yeah, I never thought of that though. You never thought about them. It's like going? even after hearing their name, earwig, you know, repeated time after time, I still haven't thought about them as potential ear threats. No. Nope. Oh, then you you think they're just creepy in general because they're this thing, or they're they're okay earwigs? Oh yeah, I kind of find them creepy. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with that uh, the pincher thing in the front. Yeah. I've I don't know if I've ever seen like a big group of earwigs. I'm trying to think of that. That would be scary. Like. Have you ever, I don't know if I ever like oh, picked up a you know when you pick up a rock, maybe I did, I did this as a child you know but you go out and you look under rocks and you see the bugs scatter. You yeah. ever done that before? I never seen a big group of earwigs. Maybe there's only usually one. No, but you would see uh, this kind of um, bug that kind of curls up. Yeah, roly po- roly polies. Yeah. Yeah, roly polies, sal bug, potato bug, whatever you call them. Hello. Hey, program. How's it going? Uh, real good. I uh, thank you. How are you doing? Oh, doing great. Um, uh, what scary day is it today? It is creepy crawlies. We're just in the middle of talking about earwigs. Ooh, this is my least favorite kind of creepy crawlies. Aren't they? You know, you, do you ever think that they're going to go into your ears? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I mean, as much as I know that pretty unlikely that a bug would want to do something like that. I've never been able to get that fear out of my head. Yeah, it's, it's in the name, right? Why would they call them earwigs if there wasn't at least, like, one or two instances where they crawled into people's ears? Yeah, Ew. why Why are they called that? Because Luke says he never even thought of that before. Uh, which I find, I find that a little weird. Carl, did you think of that before, Luke, the earwig thing? Um, I don't know that it really dawned on me, but, no? you know, the pinchers could be, like, um... They never thought of it before. I don't know. I thought it. I've, I've always thought about that. Somebody could like, kind of think about ear piercing with the pinchers. No, I don't know that they really dawned on me. That was definitely the first thing I, th- I thought when I heard that. Yeah. I always thought that that's, like, their goal in life. I said that, too. Get in their ears. Do you have any other experience with the creepy crawlies? Ready? I do. I, I have one that's not too scary, thank goodness. Um, but we used to have this, do you know there's those e- easy bake oven type things? But I had one that I think was called creepy crawlers. Oh yeah, I had that. You make, you like put the juice in the, in the little mold and then... Um, they turn into you, fruit snacks. Yeah, you heat it up and it turns into a little... I mean, you couldn't eat them, but or maybe you could get the stuff. You could, you could eat them. The one I had you to eat. You could. You could. Oh, I I think I had the juice where you couldn't eat them. Oh, with mine they definitely they definitely made like little plastic peels. Oh, that's kind of weird that they would make both. Yeah, I know. It seems like a recipe for disaster. It definitely had like it's like shrinky dinks. You ever see shrinky dinks? Yeah. Shrinky dinks. Yeah. Yeah, 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 where you, like, draw something on the... Oh, yeah, hey, it's time for a commercial break. Can you hold on for a minute?
coming up tonight at 11.30 p.m. on the program. Uh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's the commercial. Yes. And we're talking about um, corpses today. It's par- partially Halloween. And we're on every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TC TV Channel 22. Tune in for that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Hey, we're back. You know, there was a Creepy Crawlies cartoon for a while also. Whoa, man, I, I never really know how to feel. Is that... Was that a tie-in that it, was, like, a, it became a show? Or it was a. The it was the. Around? I think it was a toy first and the show second. Wow. In the show, there was a, like a scientist who could create like monsters, and he had Whoa, like a, an oven. Yeah, he had like a giant oven-like thing, and he would create monsters. Sounds like a good. Um, pretext for a show. I can see how you could, like, do similar things, create a formula thing going on there. Yeah. Thing monster. We, we have one final day of a uh, scary month that we don't know what we're going to do for it. Right. That's, uh, it's too bad you already did the unknown because that would be a, a really good, um, <laughs> yeah, thing, uh, you know, that would, that would be uh, a good one. I don't know what to do. We could do like on, fur- on Furniture Week, we ended Furniture Week with Furniture Day. <laughs> could this be Scary Day? We could end it with Scary Day, but I thought Scary Furniture. <laughs> Killer <laughs> Furniture from Mars. Oh, uh. <laughs> how about, how about like, Evil Twin or something like that? Evil? Or, like, Bizarro World type scary, you know, like meeting yourself or a doppelganger or like B- bizarre world yourself. slash like deja vu and like like uh scary feelings oh yeah bizarro world deja vu scary feelings <laughs> yeah good <laughs> just get, all, get it all out there this uh, sounds like you know, every kind of day <laughs> what really what's scarier than that kind of stuff bizarro yeah deja vu scary feelings Man, what days have you been li- living? Fox News Day, you oh, know? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good uh, one. That's a good ending. So then, then we're going to be getting out of Scary Month. Fox News And Day. we're going to be in November with the new... Uh, we're going to get... We're going to get that thing. And Luke is here. Luke, we got a DJ and thing for Danso Dance. Yeah, we do. So that's we happening. We got that uh, Seagull Invasion. Yeah, Seagull Invasion is happening on the... F- Going on. On the 7th. It's also almost uh, election day. Right. So, maybe we should call John Webster and ask him who to vote for. Oh, I yeah. want to, oh yeah. Call people from the pamphlet again. That was a pretty fun activity in the past, calling. I think we're going to go to, we're going to go to John Webster's place, Carl, I think, right, in, during the day on Friday the 7th and just take a camera and just talk to him for a little bit and maybe not do the whole episode from there, but watch some footage from that. Oh, okay, yeah, we can use, we bring that back and we can play it as a role in the studio. Yeah, so studio. maybe we're gonna go visit John Webster on the set on Friday the 7th if you wanna do that. Cool, that sounds great. I had the day off for doing all that, that production stuff. Oh, great, um, so we can go to visit Diane John. Diane Miller did, did her shoot, her, her shoot last Monday of the Just Kidding Around show in the, um, HD studio, and uh, she's also trained on the equipment, so I invited her to come run crew for that, uh, the, the big Friday extravaganza stuff. Good. Cool. Do, but John Webster, that's great. He's going to get a little roll in for, for John Webster. We should ask him who to vote for, too, because John Webster knows more about local politics than anybody I know. Yeah, true. Do you know who you're going to vote for? I don't even know what we're voting for. No, I, someone told I think one of my coworkers was telling me oh, yeah. that there is one specific guy that I was not supposed to vote for, but I don't remember who that was now. Uh-oh. 
maybe you shouldn't just vote at all because then if you do vote, you might accidentally vote for that guy if that's the only advice you have. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to try to vote. I'm going to do my best. I don't know. I guess this is what you need. all these uh, video voters guide things, and I might try to watch all of those and just see what they I say. They're all up on the website. Oh, that's a good idea. So Luke was just... Like, what? Luke was just holding up a ballot. Oh yeah, that's my ballot. Maybe I should oh, maybe I should take a look at this. I got the oh, ballot yeah. right here. I got it Whoa. mailed to me. Yeah, that's that's something that's scary to me is uh, making the wrong decision or making no decision. Both How private those, like, are, is voting supposed to be? Am I allowed to just like sit here on TV and ask people who to vote for? I'm gonna be like, hey, Freddie, who do you think I should vote for? And then just like you say it, and then I check it off right here. Yeah, no, uh, that's not really. That's not okay to do. Legal. Why? Why can't I do that? I mean, oh, what's the difference? Oh, really well, it's, it's supposed to be private. You know, back in the day, they had a shower curtain that you uh, you go into a booth and you throw the curtain. Yeah, but it's you. not like that anymore. But I mean, they're sending it out in the mail. I don't know any of this stuff. What if I'm just gonna start checking off random things? I have it right here. And, well, it's not against the law, Carl. I think what it is is yeah. that it's the law that they have to provide privacy to you, but it's sort of like the things where the doctors can't owe your medical history to anyone but you, but you can go ahead and tell anyone your medical history and do whatever you want with it. So I think that that's a great and very, you know, transparent way that maybe... Yeah. Uh, well, families can certainly collaborate, but you shouldn't, you know, collaborate publicly. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm going to right now, though. I'm going to. I'm collaborating publicly right now. If anybody wants me to vote for a thing and you're watching this right now, I'll probably yeah, do I'm it. Yeah, I'm going to tell you who to vote for. What, what, what race are we going to choose today on the program? Collaborative voting. Yeah, call in. Well, you can call in about any of them if you have anything specifically. But there's stuff like there's an initiative... This measure will direct the legislator to allocate funds to reduce class size, uh, reducing class sizes like the levy school. So there's a school levy. There's some gun stuff on here. Guns, <laughs> guns, school levies. Oh, mm. man. You can see why it'd be nice to have someone else like tell you what to check off. Cause I don't really know how I feel about the marijuana. Levy. And there's like some offices too. What about things like senators and whatnot? I mean, yeah, I don't think. I mean, sen that's that's a. Is I oh that yeah, was no. Here, is sen oh Danny Heck. Yeah, these are senators too. Right. Danny Heck and oh Danny Heck is the only choice we have between or I mean and between the Republican and the. How come there's not like a lot of people on this ballot? There's a write-in. Oh. But it's it's a midterm. Right Midterms are usually less populated, but the presidential election would have more people because um, or it's somehow glamorized as being more important but some of the stuff they have no there's no uh, run, uh, person running there, against there's them. nobody running against them at all there's not a one person in the whole county running against them like if I start if I decided to run against them would my name get on this ballot just because there's only one other person just like, oh, you yeah, do. buddy. <laughs> That's the way it works. <laughs> well, o only if you do like a, some sort of write-in campaign or. You, oh, but um, I want to get my name on this ballot. How do you get your name on the ballot? I don't know the answer to that. Maybe Bird knows the answer to that. And then, you know, we could. Or John Webster. On, on just write Sunday. it on there. John Webster's just gonna tell me to vote for everything that's Democratic, though. Yeah, probably. Well, a. Uh, you want your name on there? Write it on there. Yeah, write it on there. Did you have any anything for today, Freddy? Vote for me. I'll kiss babies. Um, I guess just uh, that I finished uploading the um, Burger Club episode from last Wednesday to YouTube. It's going to air tonight on TV in just a matter of minutes. And um, also it's going to play on the radio tonight. So production end is do doing good in that regard. Really Great. Um, Oh, also, I was going to talk about the new production and uh, uh, thing about delivering tapes. I'm going to set up a box downtown, and know where it is. I'm going to make it clear. I'm going to do the tomorrow. Maybe we can start preparing that out. But um, other than that, I don't have too much more to say. I think. Oh, it's uh, time. It's time for the final dice game. Oh, hey, maybe I'll pick. Um, 
Here we go. Two, three, six, four, one, one. Looks like twos, bird. no, ones. Ones took it, bird. That's bird, bird one with, with 1,000 points. I finally got it. Good job, bird. I got You're a, cursed. I got a two. I yeah, there was four. a six there. There was a six. There oh yeah, yeah. I guess we're gonna reschedule reschedule you for the for the future since you didn't make it today because you're on the calendar for today. Oh yeah, that's a good plan. I gotta reschedule. Yeah, right. Well, I I guess we can do that later though. Uh, thanks, Freddie. Bye. I might see you on Friday then. Okay. Oh, what Friday? Uh, d not this Friday, but like, uh, you know, that's in like two or three weeks. Yeah. Anyway, that's in like three. That's like almost a month away. Well, I can see him on that. It's Friday. a good Friday. Probably to, uh, other Fridays to see you. I'll see you any Friday. Here, I want to call John Webster. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell him about this thing. This thing you got in the mail. What's this all about, John? Yeah. How do you work this? John's just gonna tell me to vote only for Democratic people, which is why I don't. I don't really like the whole. Uh, what is it? By just like two party system. And we, we should have more than just two parties. <laughs> but I, I like one of these things says buy Taco Bell. As to where to put in. Buy it? Purchase it? No, close. Like where. Next where, to it. It says where oh, are the. Good. Hey, John, it's the program. Yeah, I, um, I, was, I was watching the thing that, um, last, last week. Um, I think. Uh, uh, Last week, and 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 uh, you and Carl was gonna say uh, say something about uh, say that I you uh, I called we called uh, John Webster and stuff like that. I I saw it, I saw it last I saw it yesterday uh, uh, yesterday morning. I mean yes um, yes uh, yesterday morning. Uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. We met up I with you. When, uh, um, when, uh, uh, and then after that, uh, I watched, I watched uh, the kitty cat, uh, the kitty cat thing, kitty cat of the dog, uh, animal services. Uh, I saw, I saw you last. I, I saw you last. Um, you said we called uh, John Webster, uh, called you, called John Webster and stuff like that. All right. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, John. Uh, who, 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 oh, we want to come to your, come over to your house on on Friday, November seventh. November seventh. Yes. Uh, Is that a good day for you? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, on that day we'll go. We're gonna go see you, so don't do anything, okay? What do you think of this rain that we're having? It's heavy. I hate, I hate the rain. You do? Then why do you know? Uh, don't hate the, the rain. Anyway. It keeps the Evergreen State green. Bro. Yeah, John, John. Maybe you should move to California if you don't like the rain. Hey, guess guess what? I went. Uh, I went. Um, I was at work. Yes. Yesterday, and uh, and I, my job coach and I were at there waiting for the the place to open, right by Cascade Driving School. Yeah. And and nobody uh, nobody showed up. Oh no! So what happened? Well, my job coach brought me home uh, early, so I got to watch Price. I got to watch Price Ride and stuff. I got got home about between 9:30 and 10. Uh huh. Uh huh. So did 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 they ever show up? Did they tell you what happened? What? What happened to them? How come they didn't show up? But uh, next next uh, to next Wednesday I'll be uh, next Wednesday. Uh, Someone will be there. The gentleman, the manager, the general manager will be there because uh, I told him we were there. Yes, we were there uh, Wednesday, and nobody showed. Nobody showed up. Well, what about today? 
John only goes to work once a week. Hey, John. Under storm chances. Uh, hey, what are you thinking about the the Giants in the in the in, in, in Kansas in the in the playoffs? I don't I don't know what that means. What are you talking about? It's tied up, it's tied up now. Uh, uh, yes, yesterday. Uh, yes, the uh, the Giants won. Oh, I don't tonight, know about football. Hey, John, tonight, John, I, John, who should I vote for? I just got my ballot in the mail. Uh, vote for it. Um, depends what the precinct here. Depends what precinct you're in. Oh, I don't, I don't know what precinct. How do I know? How do I know that? You can check with the auditor. Who's the aud well, the auditor of what? I don't know what that means. Uh, Thurston, uh, Thurston County, uh, uh, go up to the courthouse. We're we're voting for a coroner. You know I'm going. Why is the coroner the coroner, the coroner you know, is Democratic? You know I'm going Monday, uh, Monday to. Uh, I want a conservative uh, corner. corner. Well, uh, coffee Excuse chat that, uh, at the Forza, right next to Les Rob. That's on uh, between Wyvern and and uh, Wyvern and. I want a bipartisan corner. <laughs> hey John, do you know who you're gonna vote for for coroner? The anarchist, right? Uh, he, he's still he's still in charge. He's still in charge. Scully. He's still in charge. From the X Files. Yeah. That's my favorite coroner. Um, why why do we vote for the coroner? Like that doesn't seem like a, something that we should be voting for. Like that's like somebody's job. That's like what what does the coroner do that is we're voting for? Like that's or what does a coroner do that's really political? Yeah, I thought the coroner should be like like a like somebody that we don't even ever know who they're doing it. Yeah, that seems weird that they're. There, are, there. Are we voting for that at all? Putting uh, body tags on everyone. I don't, I don't know why we're voting for that at all. Hey, hey there. Hey, John. We'll talk to you later. Bye. You leaving? You're hanging up on me. Yeah. Uh, don't, hang, don't hang up on me, you guys. Sorry, John. It's the end of the show. I gotta do it. After you said don't, it makes me feel better, but I'm doing it. Bye. Oh, uh, sorry, John. <laughs> Uh, don't hang up, uh, John. I'm gonna hang up on you. Don't hang up on me. Uh, oops. Well, I, I already said I was going to. At least I gave you a warning. Thanks, Luke. Thanks for being here today. Thanks, John. Sorry for about hanging up on you when you told me specifically not to. Yeah. Thanks, Carl. Thanks for being here today. You're welcome. Thanks, Freddie. Foreigners shouldn't have political applause. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Bye bye. Thank you, Freddie. Episode number and date and day of the week. Thank you. Yeah. TV channel 22. Yeah. YHWM.com. Check it out. YHWM.com said that just now. But again. 360 Oh, uh, crew, you guys want to the crew? I'm doing things. Can you go out the loops on the crew? Cross on the crew? I'm on the crew. Yeah. PCTV, the Weebo.com, Psycho Feeling. We're for real. We're dead as hell. This is really fabulous. There's some kind of Washington State, USA. Thank you. We're dead. We're dead, dead, dead. Your listeners, there's my grave. Hell yeah, dog. Lamila. <laughs> 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 We're gone.